Hi everyone, my name is Mark Your Madison Quark Dork. Uh, today, Courtney and I went to Square Wine Company downtown Madison and we purchased a fair amount of wines mainly because I had an inheritance and we agreed to purchase about X amount of dollars worth of wine and we walked out with 12, one of which was through the uh, wine club that Square has itself. And the rest were basically wines that she and I chose. So we're going to go through each and every uh, one of the wines that we had um, received today. Or purchased, if you will. So the first one we have right now is a Chinon, which is 100% Cab Franc, or Cabernet Franc, if you will, from the Loire region, which Chinon is actually a sub-region of that. Um, Chinon... Cobb Franc, if you will, was Cardinal Richelieu's uh, favorite wine, and he was, I believe, Louis the Thirteenth's right-hand man, on, if I recall anything about French history, which I didn't necessarily study. Next up on our list, we have a Bandol Rosé, Bandol, a region in France, and uh, Courtney and I had this one while we were at square and she had it on glass for Andrea and so we decided to purchase this one very much enjoyed it next up on the list came from the wine club itself this is a Chianti Classico the uh, main grape in Chianti is Sangiovese so this one is a DOCG which is the highest uh, rating when it comes to uh, quality in uh, wines in Italy. So you know also that a wine is from Chianti because it has this black crow on it as well. So looking forward to uh, trying this one. On to the next wine. We have here a Volnay. This is from Burgundy. This is 100% Pinot Noir. So, been wanting to try Volnay for a while, and uh, this one, eh, it's reasonably priced, 66 bucks. So, it's not like I'm spending an insane amount of money on a Pinot from Burgundy, although that's where Pinot reaches its pinnacle condition, because it's from that area. Next up, we have a Trousseau. This is from the Giro region of France. And Trousseau is a pretty interesting grape. Courtney and I had one from California, and I saw that there was a French one, so sure, why don't we just try one from the original region? So Trousseau is definitely something that I'm looking forward to trying. Now on to the next one, if I pronounce this correctly. Uh, this is Mule Turgau. So this is a German white wine. Guess what? It's not Riesling. And it's not conversion meter because for whatever reason, people just think that's all that Germans produce. Moro Turga is actually, I believe, the second most planted white wine uh, grape in the entire country of Germany. So this is from Baden, which is primarily known for high-quality Pinot Noir. We had a Baden as part of my uh, wine sampling at my store, uh, Wine Styles in uh, Sun Prairie. So, Baden, Merle Turgau, I am definitely interested in trying that one. Also from the same company uh, that made the uh, Trousseau, we have a Pulsard, again from the Jura region of France. And Pulsard is a different grape, and I've never had it before, and I always thought to myself, well, gosh, go for the weird, right? Go for something different, go for Pulsard. Why not? So our next one is a Barolo. Why? Because, well, you know, Nebbiolo is the king of grapes and the grape of kings. So Barolo is the pinnacle of all things uh, Nebbiolo. These wines fetch a high price. This one is reasonably priced, to say the least. And uh, let's see, what else can I glean from this? It is DOCG as well. On to the next one. We have here a Sancerre. 
So Sancerre is 100% Sauvignon Blanc. This is in the Loire Valley. It is on the, let's see if I were to do my math, geography if you will. Looking at the map, I believe it's on the eastern side of, yeah, the eastern side of the Loire Valley. And uh, Chinon is closer to the center, definitely further east than Sancerre. So uh, Sauvignon Blanc reaches its pinnacle here in the Sancerre region. On to the next wine, we have here a Gamay, and Gamay is one of Courtney's and my uh, favorite grapes. This is not from Beaujolais, however, this is from uh, the Bougie region, and I don't know enough about this region, B-U-G-E-Y, but I will know enough about this region when I do my uh, little Instagram video that you can watch. Now on to the next one. We have ourselves a Vinsanto. So uh, Vinsanto specifically is a dessert wine. And this one is a Chianti Classico. So again, from the Chianti region. Although, strangely, there is no... Uh, Black Crow on that, um, but hey, if it says Vincento del Chianti Classico, who am I to disagree? On to the last wine. We have here a Genuine Grand Cru Chablis. This is 100% Chardonnay. Now, Chablis in my mind is different from Burgundy. Like it is, uh, I would say, far enough away from the typical Burgundian region that I would, you know, call it something other than Burgundy. However, uh, this label says Chablis Bourgogne, which is basically saying, hey, it's Burgundian. So we have a Grand Cru uh, Chablis, which actually, I believe this, is, uh, this will be our first uh, Grand Cru wine. So Chablis also, again, is the uh, pinnacle of Chardonnay. So we are going to have a lot of uh, pinnacle wines uh, when uh, we go through that. So you can follow me on Instagram, Madison Corkdork. There you will see Courtney and I analyzing wines, tasting, pairing, and basically having fun. And, of course, I have the Vivino Wine app. That's V-I-V-I-N-O, where you can find me there at Madison Cork Dork as well. So, until next time, happy drinking, and have a great rest of your day. Cheers.